Good Friday morning. So I'm in the all natural. I had not had time to try to attempt to put any makeup on, which is not an everyday thing, but I do try to do it when I'm going to be on video because you never know. This could be the next big thing. So listen, I had to tell you guys about my dad. And if you know my dad, you already know how this story ends. But last night, um, yesterday afternoon, my mom called and said my dad wasn't feeling well. And she had had a tooth removed. So I said, well, I'll take dad to the doctor. And she said, okay, he's got an appointment at 645. I assumed his appointment was at Shaolin Medical here in Rock Hill, which is where he usually goes. But I was incorrect. He goes to Shaolin in Fort Mill. So that part's not relevant yet. So I stopped, get the boys something to eat because Colby has um, to go to South Point High School last night for the um, meet the teachers or go to the school, see how the school is, orientation, whatever it is. So my husband took Colby and I was responsible for taking my dad. I'm dropping off the food and my mom's calling, where are you? Your dad is asking. My dad's in the background. Don't ask her where she is. Tell her what time to be here. Uh, 41 hello I'm not 12 I said I know what time the appointment is I'm never late we will be there I'll be there we'll be there on time drop off the foods granted I live across the street from my parents house drop off the food to the boys pull in the driveway to get my dad and I blow the horn no one comes out I call in the house tell daddy I'm outside dad comes out and in my hand, I have what I have when most people get in my car during the season, a mask. And I already have my mask on, so I hand him one. What you want me to do with this? I said, I want you to put it on. You might be contagious. He was not happy, but he put the mask on. And he coughing and hacking <laughs> and all this. And I'm like, oh, this is not good. So he puts it on. He wears it. We're good. Then he, his arms are long, he's, he's taller than me, and he puts his arm over like to the other side of the console and touching the console and the armrest. And just, I guess, what you would regularly do in a car, but not when you're sick. Daddy, I need your hands and everything to stay in your lap. Do not touch other stuff in the car. You may be contagious. Yeah, well, that didn't go over so well. So we're driving up. It's 616. We're going to be late. Daddy, we have to be there at 645. My clocks are 10 minutes fast. We're fine. Go to exit 88. Okay, I got this. I can handle this. We're at a red light. Pull out my phone to do something. Girl, don't you know people die texting and driving? I know they do, Daddy. I'm not texting nor as the car or the vehicle moving. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. <sighs> really? This is how this is going to go? This is how this went. So, we're driving, and we finally get there. Get to the doctor. Check in. I asked, do I need to go back there with you? And he looked at me like, really? You think you're going back there with me? He comes out with the diagnosis of bronchitis. Okay. He has two prescriptions because he had already made it clear that he didn't care what he went in here for or had. And I thought it was going to give him something so he could go to sleep. Keep in mind, my dad's blood pressure earlier in the day was 184 over 102. Almost stroke mode. He has high blood pressure. Well, I was just drinking NyQuil. He'd take anything that looked like it's going to put him to sleep because he feels like if he's asleep, he's not sick. Or at least if he's sleep and sick, he don't feel all that going on. So the doctor gives him two prescriptions. We go to CVS on Heckle. And the nice lady, she says, we've only got one of these. Let me call the sell these store to see if they have the other. Call sell these, they have one. So she fills one in record time. The longest thing I had to do was wait in line. Now keep in mind, I've got a mask on because there are sick people inside CVS. And I don't want to get sick. So I go, pay for it, we get in the car. We go to the other CVS. Daddy's hurting again. He says, leave me in the car, turn the heat on, turn the heat warm, the seat warmers on because his back was hurting. And the lady says, it'll be 20 minutes. Well, you know, in the pharmacy, you add 10 minutes to whatever they say. So I'm walking around in the store. I've talked to Charlotte. I've talked to Deborah. I'm killing time. 
I'm buying a few things because that's really the ultimate goal. I think most prescriptions can be filled in two minutes or less, but if you walk around in the store, they know you'll buy something, right? I think it's a conspiracy. Whatever. I fell into it. Walking around, brought some stuff. Well, my daddy comes in there, and I'm not at the pharmacy counter. I'm walking around buying stuff. He finds me in the store. What are you doing shopping for groceries? I'm ready to go. Daddy, your prescription's not ready. Well, how do you know you ain't up? They've got this nice little speaker where they'll say, Phillips, your prescription is ready. He is hot like fire. He goes back and gets in the car. Prescription is still not ready. I just sit down at the counter in hopes that they'll call the name. So they didn't call the name, so finally I just go up and say, Hey, can you check to see if this is ready? And it was. So that was my 5.30 maybe till 8.30 night last night. So just be prepared with a mask if you're going to take someone to the doctor or go into a sick home. And always, always be prepared for your parents. This is my conversation tonight. Sick and shut in with my parents. Have a good one. Bye.